All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to introduce uh, you guys to uh, Tiger here. He's one of my cats. He's one of my outdoor cats. Well, he used to be an outdoor cat. I've had him about five years now. Found him in the woods, actually the woods right behind me here. Uh, last couple years, he's been an inside cat. And he used to be in some of my other videos when I first started. He's in a couple if you go back in the oh come here tiger if you go back on the video uh, Timeline You'll see him in a couple videos, but uh, Yeah, he's been an indoor cat for the last couple of years and I've been trying to re reintroduce him back outside so he can kind of hang out with me and stuff, but uh, He's a pretty good boy the only thing is he wants to kind of wander off in the woods and I have to keep up with him and stuff And I don't want him to get lost or anything like that but uh, Yep, say hello, Tiger. He's a pretty good guy. He's fun to hang out with. All right, guys, let's get to it. Uh, I know it's been a couple weeks since I've posted a video. Uh, the weather around here has been really nice for the last, you know, couple couple weeks. Uh, it's been really warm, really sunny. Uh, I've been trying to get caught up on a few chores around my around my place here, but today I got a I got a free day. And I've been wanting to make this video for for a while. Uh, it's all about the uh, places where you uh, hook your bungee cords or, or uh, tie points for like hauling cargo. The Heisen 500 here, they have the uh, each one of these points in, in the corner. You have four of them. Right here's one. But I wanted to add more. I need extra points to uh, tie off cargo. And uh, I just thought it would be a nice little upgrade for the Heisen. Cause I'm always carrying stuff in the bed of this truck or the bed of this uh, side by side, and you know I, I like to have a lot of points to uh, good sturdy points to uh, tie car cargo down with. All right, here's what I got. Got these little D rings from Amazon. I think there was 10 in a pack. Uh, something around 18 bucks for 10 of them. Um, came with uh, these little screws here, but uh, we're not going to use these. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount six of these all together. There will be three on each side. One mounted here in the corner, and then roughly the center of the bed. And then one up at the front of the bed. It'll be three on each side. Now, like I said, they came with these little screws. And what I could do, what we could do, or what my original plan was, I was just going to mount them like this right on top. And just shoot the screws uh, right down through the bed. Because you do have a uh, very narrow strip of metal uh, up under this right here this outside panel um, but you know the screws they're not I mean they're not going to hold good you know over time they're going to loosen up they're going to pull out like I said the metal's not very thick so it probably wouldn't hold very well not over a period of time anyways so uh, what I did was I want to bolt it on with washers and lock nuts. Make it good and strong and never loosen up. All right, guys, to get started on this, what you have to do is you have to take this outside panel off, the outside fender. Uh, it comes off really easy. You got six bolts at the top. You got one, two, three, four, five, and six at the top. Come back here where the uh, rear tail lights are and right up under here, there is a bolt you have to remove. Uh, then up front here where the uh, handle for the dump bed is you have these two screws right here And that's actually the two screw two screws. That's uh, holding the uh, inside D ring in the bed So just pop those out and you're good to go
And as always, guys, I want to take a second here to ask you guys to hit that notification bell so that you'll know when new videos are downloaded and posted. And if you want and feel that it's worth it, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Hey, thanks. And once you get your panel off, you can see here it gives you uh, access to uh, drill your holes out for your boats. Each bracket has two holes that you have to drill and gives you plenty of access for that. All right, guys, with the panel taken off now, and like I said, that, that gives you access to drill your holes out. The little brackets here, first one's gonna go up towards the uh, front of the bed, about in that area. And then roughly in the center of the bed, I've already measured it out, roughly the center. It's about 17 inches from here, from this point of the bed to the center. And from the center there, it's about 17 inches to where the bed angles back, 17, 17 and a half inches. So just roughly center up that middle bracket. And then the third bracket, I'm going to put right here where, where the uh, bed angles back. And we'll do that on uh, both sides. Something else you guys might need uh, is a uh, soapstone uh, pen or mo uh, marker here. Uh, it's used to uh, make uh, marks on metal. Uh, welders use this. You can pick them up at a Royal King, uh, probably Walmart. I think Walmart has them. Uh, but yeah, since uh, this is metal and it's painted black, uh, you'll need a marker like this to, uh, to make your marks for where to put your brackets. Uh, I don't have a center punch to drill the holes out with so i'm just going to mark them and uh, just shoot a drill bit through them you can see i already have this one marked here so basically or goes right in the center of the bed roughly the center uh, don't let the bracket come above the lip or the top of the bed here because you got to remember you have the uh, fender that goes back over and hit rest on top of this little lip to the bed so just line everything up get it flush with the top of the bed and take your soap marker and well that one didn't mark good let's try that again there we go ain't nowhere to drill your holes out and at the back of the bed uh, where it angles back you have this little indentation right here uh, what i would do or what i'm going to do is just center it up in the center of the indentation and then hold it tight so it don't move we're trying not to this paint is slick the bracket wants to move around. There we go. A couple good marks there to see the drill out. All right, what I'm using here to drill these holes out is a 7 30 seconds drill bit. Uh, it may, I may need to step up to a step bit kind of enlarge the hole just a little bit this is really the only bit that i got that is close to what i need all my other bits are larger than this so i've already drilled one out right here there we go it 
see the bolt almost fits through it. I kind of want it to be a little bit tight. I don't want it to move around any to loosen up on me. So I'll grab a step bit here and enlarge the hole a little bit. pop right through. Perfect. And with all the holes drilled out, you can now start adding your brackets to it. Just make sure that you uh, add your D-ring to it. Put the bolts through. Grab a washer. A lock nut. Or lock ring. And the nut. All right, guys, it's all back together. Got all the D-rings mounted. They're all bolted in, all six of them. Got the side panels back on. To be honest, it was a little bit more work than I thought it was going to be, but it turned out really good. I have six extra points of uh, tie downs now. Uh, something uh, I also picked up with this little uh, bungee coordinating. Uh, took me a while to find this. Uh, most of the ones I found were either too small or too big, but this one is just about the right size for uh, these types of beds on these Heisen 500s. Uh, I think it stretches out to like uh, five feet by seven feet. Uh, and it's, it's got the uh, six hooks on it and they're metal hooks. Uh, most of the ones that you find online are, have the plastic hooks, which, you know, they, they break easy. Um, and real good for carrying your cargo whatever kind of cargo you got so 
Somebody ready to go home? Someone ready to end this video? <laughs> Come on, man. Yep, me and Tiger, we've had a long day. It's about time to go home. Get something to eat. Relax. Cool off a little bit. That's not a scratching post tiger, okay? I kind of need that, man. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging in there watching this video to the end. Uh, me and Tiger, we really appreciate that. Like I said, we don't make the best videos out there. But we're trying with every video to make it a little bit better. And I hope some of you guys that's got these machines here and you want a little small project with it, maybe add extra uh, uh, points, uh, tie down points on your machine. Hey, give this a try. You can get these uh, D-rings uh, on Amazon for like 18 bucks for like 10 of them. I have a few of them left over I can use for other things. Uh, they really come in handy to always have extra tie down points. I'm always hauling stuff in this machine. But yeah, I think me and Tiger is going to end this video here. We're going to head home. Get something to eat, huh? I'm going to try to have Tiger in more of my videos. Uh, I'm really a cat person. I have dogs too, but I also love cats. I've had a lot of cats, you know, over the years. And uh, Tiger, he's one of my special, one of my special boys. And he's just a good overall uh, friend to have hang out with you. <laughs> he can be a little crazy sometimes. What do you see? No. Stay. No. He sees birds. All right, guys. Take it easy. Hey, remember... If you think it's worth it, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I'm almost at 800. I'm slowly uh, creeping up there, uh, trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So please, guys, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a whole lot. And until next video, see you later. Tiger. Tiger. Dude. Listen, dude. Listen, man. That was your cue. You have to jump up in the bed. I mean, you want to be a star, right? Okay. Let's try that again. Tiger, come on. Let's go. Tiger, you're on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, he thinks he's all that.